just for two of the deaths, we'll use two gallons of blood. <laughs> so we originally just got the red dye, um, which is very, it looks like raspberry jam. So we knew we needed yellow. Um, so I went ahead and just color sampled everything and did ratios everywhere from like 10 to 90 for the yellow red to like 50, 50 to the yellow being like 90, 10. So it needed to work for sets. It needed to work for props. It needed to work for us. It needed to work for costumes. One of the biggest things was it not staining it being safe for the actors to have on all the time. Also the cost of it. Blood is not a inexpensive thing to make. Um, and we need decent amounts of it. For the biggest effect that we have, we're doing, um, we're using a Hudson sprayer, um, which is this lovely thing right here. So we just have like, this is just tubing that we have um, and it'll go in the chair. Props is gonna mask it and it'll sit like right above their shoulder. And so then Sweeney will cut their throat. Um, we'll push the Hudson sprayer down and it'll just spray. It'll spray on them, it'll get on them. So the, the blood is really simple for the what's going in the Hudson sprayer. Um, because it needs to be so like thin because it has to actually yeah, spray. It yeah, has to move. Yeah. So it's literally just water and the dye. Um, when we have it in like a blood pack or if we need it to be thicker, we put this um, methicellulose in it. Um, it's just like a thickener, a food thickener. We have two blood packs because two people get stabbed. Just we'll thicken it with the methicellulose so it doesn't like spray as much. Um, put this in here, it'll go like right here where they died, they'll pop it, it'll spurt. Um, make their shirt get soaked like they just got stabbed. That's me, Todd. Um, it's been a very fun time. I'm ready to like get everything on stage and like see what it looks like and have it all come together and I have every confidence in the world that it will go great.